Hey guys, just wanted to give a rundown of these Axletech T600 transfer cases. Uh, they're pretty well used uh, when it comes to the Axletech 4000 axles. Uh, they bolt right up to the narrow ones, have the same flanges and everything. If you're not familiar with them, uh, they have a 2.45 to 1 low range, 1 to 1 high range. They also have a proportioning differential, which means that they're similar to like an old MP203, where it's not a complete front axle disconnect, but it still has an open differential in between the two output flanges, meaning that you can drive around on hard surfaces, stuff like that. And the proportioning differential actually means that it's a 32.5% front output and a 67.5% rear output, meaning that you're getting more torque to the rear wheels than the front ones, which kind of makes sense. And then of course, once you hit the lockup, what that does is it uh, provides 100% output to both front and rear axles. You can see here that it's a four, it's got four flanges on it. This one here is your input, outputs are on the bottom, front output, rear output, and this, this is an auxiliary PTO. See if you want to drive a hydraulic pump or something like that. Uh, they're a big, heavy, sturdy transfer case. They weigh about 400 pounds once they're full of oil and everything like that. They have a pressure fed oiling system in them, which is, you know, good for liability helps provide oil to up all the way up into your input bearings and stuff like that. And they are all air shifted. So there's no levers or nothing like that. Um, this is basically a kit that we put together that it runs off 12 volt power and uses solenoids and then basic switches that you can mount up. Uh, as you can tell the kit, I tried to clean it up as nice as I could, but obviously it's not mounted in a vehicle. So it looks a little messy, but basically what we got here is our solenoid packs on a distribution block. This is our air supply. And then this is our air feeding the system. This here is our lockup. This guy here. This here is high range, low range. And PTO is back here. This guy here. And they have sensors that tell you basically when things are engaged. So this is PTO. This is your lockup. And low range is back here. There's nothing for high range. Basically when it's in high range, it's in high range. And then also, so guys aren't confused, right here, there's also a vent. And basically it just has to be plumbed to atmosphere. So what we'll do is we'll show you how this kit works. Um, basically just got 12 volt power supplying it. Air supply, as I already mentioned. And we'll kick it in high range. So we'll turn that switch on, that's high range. And it's open right now, so nothing's locked up. So basically it just, it'll turn your input and output flanges, but there is an open differential, so they'll spin differently once it's once it's turning um and what we can do is we can kick it into low range down here you can see that it's not not engaged once i turn it you can wait for it to click in there it's clicked in and you can see the upper light is on showing that it's locked into low range you can see there it's it's turning in low range and then, as you can also tell, the front output's turning, the rear output isn't, so it's not locked up yet. So we'll kick in the lock up here. Same thing, it's not engaged yet. I'll give it a little turn, you can see it. There now, it's completely engaged. And the front output's turning along with the rear output. And if we want to do our PTO, Kick in the high and low range, which is basically neutral. You can see I'm turning the input. Neither the outputs are turning. And then we'll kick in our PTO there. And it's locked in and the PTO is turning. So this is our basic kit. Comes with everything you need. Uh, comes with the divi divider block and the solenoid packs, harness, wire harness, all your switches. It's got a spare spot here if you want to rig up some lights or something like that. Uh, your air hoses, fittings, and then the pigtail connectors for the sensors. And basically all you have to do is supply it with an air source and 12 volt power and you're ready to roll. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up and I'll also provide a, a link to our website where you can check this stuff out too. Thanks for watching.